Welcome back to Clarinet Headquarters. This is just a quick little video. I'm going to call it a public service announcement. Um, a lot of times with beginning clarinet models, sometimes those cases will come with mouthpiece brushes. That's what they're called. Um, they have little bristles on them, almost kind of like a toothbrush, uh, but they look like something that you could clean a teeny tiny toilet with. This is my public service announcement. Just say no to mouthpiece brushes. If you play saxophone or any of the clarinets, uh, most of the mouthpieces that you'll end up playing on are hard rubber. And the friction that's caused when you clean your mouthpiece with the mouthpiece brush will end up scraping the inside of your mouthpiece. And so it's really not a good idea to use those. I suggest using Q-tips uh, for when your mouthpiece gets stuff kind of built up in there. It happens um, to all of us. So once in a while, make sure, first of all, that you're taking your read off after every time that you play. Uh, but first of all, make sure that when you take your read off, you're checking in inside your mouthpiece to make sure that you've cleaned it off all the way. So you can just dampen the end of a Q-tip and uh, or several Q-tips and clean it out that way. That way your mouthpiece will stay intact and you'll be able to get the best sound that your mouthpiece can provide for you. If you're a brass player, um, mouthpiece scrubbers are, I believe, something that that are fine to use, um, but they're not okay for woodwind mouthpieces. So please stay away from those mouthpiece scrubbers. If you have any questions, feel free to email me at clarinethq at gmail.com. And don't forget to check out my Instagram account, clarinet.hq. Thanks for stopping by.